<clears throat> let's jump into the top five accessories I think you can get for the DJI Action 4. This is a great little camera if you need to pick it up to do BTS, to do vlogging, whatever it might be. The internal audio is great, all that. There's no order to this. I'm gonna call them one through five and then we're gonna throw in some bonus ones. The goal is to keep it under five minutes. So let's go with the DJI mics. The nice thing about these are you can plug them right into the side of this. Just plug the receiver into the side of the USB-C connector and you're good to go. You can have audio. And mic two is even better because all it does is hook up via Bluetooth. So you don't even need the receiver anymore. Next thing I would recommend is this GoPro adapter. There's a bunch of companies that make things like this. Next is this right here. This is like a GoPro adapter, which is really cool. But right here, see, it's got the hot shoe mount. So if you want to use this for BTS, it works perfect. Plus you can tighten it onto your camera if you need to, and you want to use it on top of your camera. So this is really cool to have and comes in very essential for BTS or whatever it might be. And the nice thing is it's got the quarter inch screw thread on the bottom down here. So if you've got a little tripod or something like that, you can just have it on there and just sit it right down. I zoomed out a little bit, so don't worry about what a mess my desk is, but the next one is gonna be this. This is an adapter that goes around your neck by Telson. It's just a neck strap, it goes around here. It's very movable, you can kind of see all that, but it just goes around your neck. You hit a little button to unclip it on the back and then you just push it back in and you hear that click. And now we're good. So you can use this for POV shots or whatever it might be. You can have it turned down if you wanna take pictures of the screen, maybe your feet walking, whatever it might be to add something kind of cool, something kind of different. And then all you gotta do is turn it up and you can get those cool POV shots of you holding the camera right there or some BTS shots of you walking around. So I moved for this one because this is one that I think is the coolest. This is a dual suction cup from Smallwork. You can get it with a single, a double, a triple if needed. The reason I got the double is because I like using it on my car. And I know this is so lightweight, you probably don't need that, but I'd rather have that extra strength than it falling. So all you gotta do is throw it onto your window, your windshield, push that down, take this, push this down right, and look at that, we're good. And the nice thing is it's got that quarter inch screw thread right there. So if you have that quarter inch screw thread we talked about, you just take it, twist it on there, and now you can do some cool angles. Maybe you do something in your house like this, and you have it so you can, you can talk like that straight to the camera. I don't know, but there's a lot of different ways, but this is definitely a cool thing that you can add to make your videos just a little different. So next, ND filters. These are the ones by k &F. These are the ND and PL ones. This is a 16. This is basically the one that's on my camera, basically it lives on there at all times. It's great. It does have a little bit of vignetting on it. Once that screws on, that's there. It's this top little area right here. You can see where my finger's going. You gotta do that to adjust it. So they're great, they're cheap. The only thing I will say is there is a little bit of vignetting, but that usually happens with these cheaper ones, but it's not too bad that it's that big of a deal. But there's a lot of other companies that make these, but check out the k &F ones if you want ones that are a little cheaper. Finally, honorable mentions, one I use a lot is just a mini tripod for when I wanna sit it down on a table or something like this. This is just from another piece of gear I had, and I just use it all the time because it's got that quarter inch screw thread that we were talking about. The next is obviously extra batteries. You can't go wrong with having extra batteries. Next on the list is a cage because let's be honest, it's an action cam. You're gonna be running around with this thing. You'll probably drop it a bunch of times. At least if you have it in a cage, it'll keep it that much safer. This is a small rig one and this is the PGY Tech one. I did a full review and comparison to them and I'll link that above, but you can't really go wrong with either one of these. The only thing with the PGY Tech one is if you're using the mic version one, you cannot use this while the receiver is plugged into the action four. So that's kind of why I went and bought this one, but they're both good. I did a more in-depth review on these two. I'll link above and you can check them out and decide for yourself which one you'd rather have. And I think we nailed our time. So if we didn't, I apologize. If this content was helpful, please just like and subscribe. And if you wanna see me add some more B-roll to it next time, let me know below. I just wanna try something a little different for this video.